What, what do you remember most about your time here at LCA? Well, there's a lot of things that come to mind, but um, you know, some of the golf memories we had, the trips we took together, the, you know, the weekends that we spent on the road. Uh, there are a few crazy cabin nights in, uh, in, in uh, Stonecrest and Prestonsburg in eastern Kentucky. Um, but, you know, I remember winning state. You know, it's, it's quite an accomplishment, and it's something that I'll never forget. And, and it, I think it kind of sealed the bond that I had with, you know, Hager and Chandler and Ethan and, and Taylor uh, when we accomplished it. And, uh, you know, I think it, it's a testament to the bond we had. I, you know, I still come back and, and see Coach Galdoff. We still text from time to time, and, you know, that's kind of uncommon. So, um, you know, nothing but positive stuff. Well, and you've obviously gone on and done a lot of different things in your career, your young career. Um, where does being named Mr. Golf uh, in Kentucky rank among them? Well, you know, it's, it, they only name one a year. So to say that, you know, my name is there is, is, is definitely an honor. Uh, you know, to be there with some, some big names, you know, Justin Thomas and uh, J.B. Holmes um, are two guys that have done it, and, and they've been PGA Tour winners. So um, just to have my name there alongside of them is, is, is an honor. And, um, you know, it was a nice stepping stone to go into college, uh, kind of with that with that honor. I know you have a, a special. I know you have a special bond with Coach Geldof, and uh, you you all talk quite a bit and everything. What is what has Coach Geldof meant to you and mean to you still? Well, you know, he's he's still a friend. He's still he's still a mentor. I think you know it's it's been fun to watch our relationship evolve. And you know, he used to be coaching me and on me and trying to get the most out of me and, and our teammates and. Um, you know, now it's, it's more of just an, a constant encouragement. You know, hey, keep at it. You know, you're a great player. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna make it out there. And, and so that's that's been nice to have. And uh, you know, I come back and, and you know give back. You know, it's, you know the last few days I've spent you know just hanging out with some of his current players and just you know giving them a hard time and and, and giving them encouraging words that you know kind of can help hopefully push them in the right direction. And so you know it's kind of been a full circle effect. And last, you know, how do you think? LCA prepared you for what you've gone on to do in college and now as your professional and touring around. Uh, what, what, is, what did you take from LC, your experience at LCA? Yeah, I mean, you know, the golf stuff, you really can't, you can't learn in high school. You have to learn it on, on the go and, and at the next level. But I think LCA prepared me for life more than anything else. Uh, just the, you know, some of the classes here that I still, I still take things from them. You know, Coach Siemens and Senior Bible, I mean, that's, that's something I'll never forget. I still use those, some of those words, some of those examples. Um, you know, so it just laid the foundation for a way of thinking and, you know, a gospel-centered culture. And I think that's, you know, really important. And it's something that's, that's stuck, what stuck with me. And, you know, I'm hopeful that that's, you know, what LCA will be for its students, to, you know, for a long time to come. Thanks. Yeah, sure.